Hi everyone! Today we're making tiny tapestries inspired by the feature exhibition Scandinavian Design in the United States, 1890 to 1980. A tapestry is a woven piece of artwork that hangs on the wall. Artists create designs and pictures by weaving together fiber. Tapestries take many different sizes, shapes, and colors. Weavers from Scandinavia brought their skill and experience to the United States. Frida Hansen, a Norwegian weaver, created this tapestry of Norse goddesses sailing on swans. Some Scandinavian tapestries show floral designs like this one. Most tapestries are very large, but this one by Finnish artist Marta Taipal is smaller and has an abstract circle design. Scandinavian artists like Lilium Holm were inspired by what they saw in the United States, like the skyscrapers of New York City. North American artists learned from Scandinavian teachers and made their own weavings. This one by Ohio-born artist Lenore Towney looks like a painting with its ripples of color. Let's make our own tiny tapestries. Today we're going to sew patterns onto a small plastic canvas using a plastic needle and various colors of yarn. We're using color pencils, graph paper, a small plastic canvas, colored yarn, a plastic needle, scissors, and sticky magnets. If you'd like to sketch your design before you get started, try using grid paper to make a plan. Count the number of vertical and horizontal squares and mark your grid on the paper. This is the design I will be making today. You can also try a more freeform approach if you want. I start at the top of my tapestry and work my way down. I thread my needle and tie my yarn end to the edge of the plastic canvas. To start a new color in the middle of the canvas, I tie a knot at the end to hold it in place. You can try weaving over your knot and to hide it or plan to keep all your knots on the same side of your design. This will become the back of it. Finally, I attach a magnet to the back and hang it up on the wall. I hope you enjoy making your own tiny tapestry at home or right here at the museum in the Coles Art Studio. Bye.